Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the big things I did in quarantine and my music tips that really helped me along the way in the five years I've done instruments for. So, let's get started with the video. So, the very first thing that I did in quarantine is getting to know brand new bands. I very first started listening to new bands when I was in freshman year in high school. And I'm not going to try my, my best to summarize and explain this to you guys. So the first one that started was, what did you say? Which started in 2015 in Berkeley and in Valencia, Spain, and they've been touring all over the place, and, well, not everywhere, like, the main parts that they've toured on, and I just love listening to them, and it really sets the mood when I work, and I just love listening to them. The next band it, that I really like listening is since last year, which was The Killers. The Killers were the best band I ever listened to. They were very popular in 2001, but they very first started in 1999. Not very first started, when Brianna Faust met Dave Kooning in 1999. And, or maybe, or maybe 98? I don't know. And... My very first song that I loved listening to was Mr. Brightside. It's one of my the biggest hits from Hot Fuss, which came out in 2004. And I was born, born in 2004. And one of their concerts out that came out in 2004, I was just four months old. Which is crazy. And... Soon after that, last year, I got to know Switchfoot. One second. The Killers were from Las Vegas, Nevada. And Switchfoot. <laughs> Sorry. They started in 1996, and I'm not sure if they toured in 2004. I just knew that the Killers were. And... So basically what happened is that I just started listening to them and the very first song that I loved was Stars. And that was the fun, the funnest song that, that I ever listened to. It's in my favorites on my Amazon Music. I'm not going to sing it because I don't want to get in trouble. So. Or copyrighted. I just love listening to it, and it's more, it's, it's fun to listen to them. And they're from San Diego, California, but the other members, I don't think they are. They're from other places. And so that was Switchfoot. And then after that, this year, I started. I started listening to Jimmy Eat World. It started in nineteen ninety three, I think. Yeah, they did. And oh my god, I finally remembered. I don't know who they. Don't know who they were, but as soon as I started listening to them, I just liked it. And the very first song I liked was "The Middle," and it was the most catchy song that I ever listened to, and. It was super upbeat to listen to. Then after that, I started listening to Incubus. They start. They were from Calabas, California. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if I said it right. I forget where they. When they, I don't forget when they started. 
1991, I think. Yeah, around there. And I just, the only song that I loved was Drive. But soon after that, I just started to listen to the other songs. And the Rolling Stones. And the other songs that I like, bands, 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 I liked as well. So those were, Incubus was one of my favorite bands that I listened to. And I got this, in, I started listening to it today, so a lot of concerts and I found these different bands so I found and I listened to them, which is awesome. <laughs> and I just liked listening to them because the middle is a few good song. <laughs> okay, so those were the songs that I songs. Those were the bands that I've listened to throughout the year. But for middle school, it's mostly just singers. But I still do love Japanese a lot. Pop a lot. Like Princess Princess, Princess and Hideaki Tokunaga. And... Akina Nakamori. Which is very popular in the 80s and 90s. And... Yeah. I just like... Them. This might sound a little funny, but I I love listening to br British br British singers. The the common one that I loved was Adele. I love someone like somebody like someone like you, I think, or somebody like you, someone like you. Yeah, and hello, there are very popular songs and. I just liked listening to it. And Ed Sheeran. My favorite from him is Thinking Out Loud. Perfect. Shape of You. One second. Shape, shape of You. Thinking, thinking Out Loud. After Go. And Perfect. I love those. I love those songs. They're, they're the best to listen to. And... Yeah, so we're going to put all the bands to the side and take guys my best tips for you guys. Okay, my first tip for you guys is don't be tough on yourself. If you guys don't, if you guys don't know what tough means, it means being emotional over the simple little, little things, which to me, it's silly my opinion. I sometimes I definitely felt tough when I started playing an instrument and I know how hard it is but when I mean by tough I mean like crying emotional and it makes it tough on you when you practice by yourself if you're self-taught or you're doing a lesson with your teacher and you might hear your teacher say don't be tough on yourself, because my teacher definitely told me that before, and it's a really hard thing to overcome when you're trying out something new. My next tip, it's not really a tip, it's more of a term that people say back in the olden days, and we say it now, and that is practice makes perfect, and I agree with that one because if you're practicing something that that's not perfect, which means you are getting there, you just get in there and you don't have to be emotional by yourself because you're practicing so hard and so much worth into it. Like I did through my seven years through playing piano. My grandmother has said to me, practice, 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 which means if you then after something you practice and practice or practice makes perfect perfect which my grandmother my great, great grandmother has said 
which means if you practice enough, you get perfect. I'm not trying to say that none of you are perfect at an instrument. It takes it takes a lot of years, like it, like it did for me, and I still, and it's a good message to send to yourself and everyone else. If you go to a teacher and your music teacher, or if you know someone who can play the instrument, you can, and then feel more emotional, and you can just say to them, hey, practice makes perfect. I feel like that really helps me a lot. Helps me a lot to know. My next tip is, I think those are my only two tips that I know. So, Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed listening and sitting down with me talking about these. Sitting down and talking talking about the bands that I love listening to that I can recommend to you guys. And tips that can help you when you're playing an instrument. Because when you're playing guitar, ukulele, or any kind of instrument you play, it's not, I'm trying to tell you guys, it's not easy to play as to play. And it's been for the first time. It can be quite scary. But my best advice to you guys is don't be scared of what's coming. Don't be scared about your future self. If you're scared from your... If you're scared now... You're scared now when you practice. You'll be less scared in the future. So that's what I'm trying to say to you guys. And... Be a, be a lot less tough on yourself. It can be hard to practice something, but hey, practice, practice makes perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next weekend. No, I'll see you guys on Wednesday at 5.45. I may mean, not come, because guess what will come. But no offense. Bye, guys. Mwah.